Have you ever wondered why some stains sink deep into the wood and bring out the rich grain, while others seem to sit more on the surface for a smooth, even finish? Today, we're diving into the science behind oil stains and gel stains. That way, you'll know exactly which one to use for your next project. Oil stains are typically comprised of linseed oil, tongue oil, soy oil, and sometimes synthetic alkyd oils. Think of each of these oils as different types of sponges soaking up water. The type of oil determines how much color and depth the wood will absorb. Now, first off, oil stains don't technically dry. They cure through oxidization. This is a chemical reaction with oxygen. This curing process is a critical part that provides both durability and locks in the color. You can imagine it like you're baking bread. Once it reacts with the air, it hardens and locks in the flavor. In this case, the flavor is going to be a rich grain and a durable finish inside the wood. But here's the catch, woods like maple and pine can stain more unevenly. And the reason for that is these woods have uneven density, causing the stain to be absorbed at different rates. This leads to that blotchy look that is so common, especially if the wood isn't conditioned. Just picture it like pouring water onto a lumpy sponge. That liquid is going to soak in unevenly. Let's talk about gel stains. These were created to address the blotchiness problem. They contain thickening agents like waxed or fume silica. These help to be able to slow down the penetration. Gel stains often do use oils, such as the same linseed, tongue, or elkids, but it's specifically designed to be thick to keep that product sitting on the surface. Think of gel stain like syrup on a pancake. It sits on top long enough for you to be able to spread it out evenly. This gives you more control, a uniform color, and fewer surprises on tricky wood. Typically, a gel stain should sit on a wood between 5 and 10 minutes before wiping it off. Of course, this depends on the desired depth of color. How can we improve the penetration of a stain and make it go on more even? If you want an oil stain to soak in more evenly, there's a scientific way that you can prep the wood. A pre-stain conditioner or a light wood rinsing, or as some call it, water popping, can open up the fibers and help to equalize absorption. Preconditioners contain penetrating oils and mild surfactants that slightly soften the fibers and reduce surface tension. This helps the stain to be able to flow more evenly. Think of it like fluffing your pillow before you tuck in the sheets. The fibers are loose and they're ready to accept stain. Water slightly swells the dense fibers and capillary action is going to pull the stain evenly through the wood pores. This is similar to how a paper towel draws up water. Imagine all the fibers are tiny little straws. The water is going to prime the straw and the stain can get sucked in more uniformly. This is going to reduce blotchiness and ensures a more consistent finish. So here's the science in action. An oil stain is gonna give you deep penetration, rich grain, but can potentially be blotchy on certain woods without the proper prep. Gel stains, on the other hand, give you surface control, a more uniform color. It's easier to manage on both soft woods and species of wood that are generally known to be a little more blotchy. But we see that the proper prep is key. Understanding the chemistry and the physics behind these stains is going to let you predict how your project is going to look before you even apply a drop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.